What is going on guys, my name is Baron or Developer B, and welcome back to episode 26 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial Series, and in this episode, I am going to teach you guys how to do a third variation of a cooldown. So, I got a request in the comments asking how to pretty much make a cooldown that still counts while a player is offline and the cooldown is custom to that player so it's pretty much going to require us to use a config and to count down through that config and that's what we're going to be doing today and a perfect example of doing this is using a temp band command that we can put in our bad player plugin so this is a prime example of what this guy was requesting so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that today so pretty much i have this class right here which is our only new class and it's just a copy of the ban command so if you haven't watched my ban and kicking tutorial you should probably go ahead and do that this is pretty much a copy of this class as you can see it looks quite similar so it's pretty much a copy except i've changed a few things i changed it to temp ban i added another argument because we're gonna have to specify a time and i changed this to two because we're starting at the second argument instead of the first one like we did last time and it says you have been temporarily banned right there that's the only thing i've really changed right now and i also actually created this down here which is a pretty big change but you guys can just go ahead and copy this like i'll i'll slowly scroll through it so you guys can see exactly what it is but pretty much what this is is it is the exact of time that the player is going to have left until he is unbanned so this is pretty much it right here and yeah so all i do is i create some strings right here and then i create some of this and so on and so forth and actually i'm gonna want to we can say set seconds to this i actually am gonna change this because there was a little bug right here with it doing that. So I'm actually going to set that to that and we can just do that. So there we go. And let's go ahead and get started with this plugin. So I'm just going to go through here and change some things to just copy the band command and come back here and start doing some stuff. So let's go ahead down here. And we're actually going to create something called int seconds. And this is going to be how many seconds we specify in this command. So as you can see time, this is going to be our time. We're going to specify it in seconds. And what we can do is we're going to go ahead and make a try and catch because we have to check and make sure that the the argument that the player types is an actual number and not like a it could be a bunch of letters and it's, this is actually going to be a number format exception but it could be like a bunch of letters typed and that would give an error so we're just going to catch it with this and we're going to say seconds equals integer dot parse int and then args one and that is going to allow us to change our string argument into an integer that's all this does is changes a string into an integer and down here we're just going to send the sender a message and we are going to say please specify specify an amount of time using numbers because <laughs> obviously they did not use numbers they used letters or characters like that or something and that's not going to work so using numbers and that is actually it for right there and we can go ahead and go down here and we can now go right here and we're actually going to add a new value in here because we have you have been temporarily banned from the server by and reason but we need a time so we're going to go ahead and specify that so we can make a new line like we learned and say time and then right here we can use our form time formatter to make it look nice and then we can put our in seconds in there which is just that right there and why didn't that work it says it might not have been initialized hmm well, oh, that's why. We need to return up here. I forgot. You need to return or else. Because if you don't return, it's just going to keep going through this. And that's not what we want. We want it to return right there. So make sure to return. And that'll take that error away. And there we go. So now we can go down here. We can say plugin.getconfig.set. We're going to set band players dot And then the target 
dot get unique ID dot to string. We're actually going to set this dot time. And we're not going to create a new section or anything. As you can see, all we're doing is adding them to the band players, but we're adding an extra value called time. And this is going to hold the seconds in there. And there we go. And here's an example. I forgot to go through this. Here's an example of what it's going to look like on this kick player right here. It's going to say by reason and then time. And here's an example of what all this does. It's going to be nine days, three hours, 27 minutes, 40, 34 seconds. And it's just going to show that looking pretty nice. And it just uses basic math. So it is not that hard to make, or you can just copy it, whatever, make it your own. But anyway, we are done with this right here. We can say successfully banned. And now we actually have to make the task that temporarily bans them so that they can be unbanned. Because right now it's just specifying a time and it's not really doing anything. So we have to make a runnable. So we're going to make a bucket runnable like this. And we're making a bucket runnable so we can cancel it after it is done. So we just need to say run task timer asynchronously. We're going to run it away from the thread. And we can just say plugin 0, 20. So it's going to run every second. And we need to have our public void run, obviously, in there. And once we put that in there, we are going to specify something. So we're going to say plugin.getconfig. And we're going to check right now. We're going to check if band players dot and then target dot get unique idea dot to string dot time and we're going to check if it's zero and once we check it is zero then we are going to do something but first we need to decrement it above here so we don't get confused so we're going to say get config dot set we're going to set band players dot oops yeah dot target dot get unique id dot to string dot time we're going to set that to this right here so just go ahead and copy that and paste it minus one oops minus one that's going to decrement it by one second every time this runs pretty basic stuff we've already done that a little bit before i think we can just say plugin dot save config we'll save it right there and right here once it hits zero we are definitely going to want to remove the player from the config so that they can join the server back so that they are not banned forever because this is just a temporary band and we're just going to set target.getuniqueid.toString don't put dot time just put that and we're going to set it to null and pretty much setting this value to null is going to erase the section completely so it's going to remove them from the config and go ahead and save the config down here and now they are removed whenever we run this so it's pretty much setting this whole section so as you can see in this section there's obviously banner time and reason but here we don't specify any of those we specify the whole section which is all of it and containing all three of these and it's just going to remove it and make it nice and good so now that we are done with that we are actually going to want to go in here because what if the server shuts down or reloads well this thing is going to be erased and the player will be permanently banned forever because the time will stop going down. And we need to handle this by putting this inside of the on enable. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to actually need to make some if statements to check and make sure everything's going. And we're going to loop through the whole config and check for timed bands, which is going to allow those to run. So let's go ahead and say get config dot get configuration section and we're going to check and just make sure that band players exists before we do anything so we're going to check if that's not equal to null and if it is not equal to null then we're going to actually run a for loop and we're going to go through every single player inside of this band player so we're going to say get config dot get configuration section band players oops dot or no not dot we're just going to say dot get keys false and this is going to get us all of our player EUIDs inside of there and now the last thing that we have to check for is if these UIDs have a time so we're going to check if band players dot and then UUID dot time and if we're going to check if this isn't equal to null so we're going to check if this section actually exists and if the section exists, 
then we can safely go ahead and run this thing in here, which we copied, I believe. Just paste it in there. All we have to do is remove some of these and clean it up nice and easy, and then we will be good. So just go ahead and remove plugin from all of these because this can actually run it, and we can just put this for that. And then right here, just replace. I'm gonna teach you guys a cool method you can do in IntelliJ. Just hit Control F. I should have done it for the other thing, but go ahead and type target dot get unique ID dot to string like so. And as you can see, it selected every time in this class that had target dot get unique ID dot to string. And what we can do is select all of this and just change it right off the bat. So I'll show you what you have to do. Go up here and you're going to click this one that says select all occurrences and just click it. And as you can see now, they are all highlighted and selected. And all you have to do is type UUID and boom, it sets every single thing that comes up to UUID. And it's so much faster than just go going ahead and going like this and erasing it or changing it or whatever. I could have done that with plugin and just removed it, but yeah, I forgot about that. But that is a really cool feature that is really useful in IntelliJ. So there we go. We actually just went ahead and did this. And that is pretty much it for the handling of all that. And now we can just go in here and we have to do a simple thing in the player join. So whenever a player tries to join, they're going to get kicked because they're in the band players, obviously. We're going to want to check if get config, oops, plugin.getconfig, dot get, and then band players, oops, players dot, and then player dot get unique ID dot to string. And we're going to check if their time is an equal to null. And if it isn't, then we can go ahead and go like this. So go over here. Oops, this is a long, long thing. And we are actually going to go ahead and copy and paste this into here. And actually, let's just go ahead and copy this one. It's so much easier because we already have all these values. We can go ahead and say, space this out. And we can say backslash n time. And then we can copy this and just say int and time. So boom. Let's add a plus right here, and then we can just say time and int. And there we go. We are pretty much done with this section of the plugin with the temp ban of the plugin. So this should actually work. Let's go ahead and try this out and see what we have going for us with this. I hope this works. I'm not, I think it is actually going to work. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if it works. So go up here, hit build, build artifacts, bad player, and build. And there we go. I don't know what, what is this? Oh yeah, deprecated. We already know about that. Let's go ahead and go into Minecraft, reload, and let's see if it works. So slash help, bad, or let's try slash temp ban, see if it's there. So you can see it says, please specify player, time, and reason. And I'll show you what I mean by having to check if the integer is a like a bunch of numbers. Because if we type letters like this and then say you suck, as you can see, oh, oops, I'm, I forgot to specify a player. So I'm going to specify myself, which is developer B, and then the time right there. It's going to say, please specify an amount of time using numbers because we just used a bunch of characters. But now we can actually go ahead and try and specify some numbers in here. So let's go and let's go ahead and say, let's make it really long, like a day. I'm pretty sure a day is around 86,400. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Let's make it 86,001, uh, actually 50. Let's try that. See what it does. You suck. Let's see if this actually works. Actually, we want to make it 450. I want to I want to try it with just seconds and see if it'll erase the day and see if my thing worked. So 86,450 seconds, you suck. There we go. We have been banned. And as you can see, there's a little space there. And I thought I trimmed that out in this format time thing. 
but maybe it doesn't trim these spaces out. I don't really know. We can actually change this based on it. So I'm gonna go right back and I'm gonna go ahead and change this. All right guys, so I found a few things wrong. The first thing is I forgot to fully format this and this is, I know I didn't really go over this at all, but I just decided to show you guys that I had a little bit of a formatting error, but I had to make sure that I had to handle this and this, the hour and minute inside of here. And if they were blank, it would leave a giant space as you saw before. So I just go ahead, went ahead and took that space out if the hour isn't there and the minute isn't there and etc. So I just went ahead and did that. And a major problem with the, just the display part of it is right here, I forgot to go ahead and format the time. Man, some of you guys probably noticed that. Like why didn't you format the time? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I made it a public static so we could access it. But I was like, why Why are the numbers showing whenever I try and rejoin, that's weird. So make sure that you have that format time right there. So after that, we should be good. So let's go ahead and build this and try again. So I believe I'm banned right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. So just reload. And if I join the server, as you can see, it says I am banned for four minutes and 41 seconds. So whenever I try and rejoin, the time is slowly going down. As you can see, 33, and then the connection is going to throttle. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm trying to join too fast, I guess. But as you can see, 33, now 23, it's slowly going down. And once we get to zero, it will go ahead and kick us out. And I'll show you what that formatted thing looks like right now in just a second. All right, guys, as you can see, my little formatting thing did work. And if we try and join, as you can see, there is no longer a giant gap in between there because I formatted this correctly right here. So that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. It's pretty, it's pretty cool once you realize that you can actually do this stuff and it is really useful to know how to make these cooldowns that run outside of the server in a config. You could even run them from a database if you really wanted to. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.